What up everyone, this is Ace here with another Madden Online Gameplay. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to absolutely destroy Cover 3 defense with a couple of money plays. So I am playing once again as the Chiefs, and they have me matched up against the NFC Chicago Bears. So last time I was playing an AFC opponent, the uh, Houston Texans, who have a mobile quarterback in Deshaun Watson, so now I'm dealing with the... Uh, I guess I would say he's not too mobile, but he's not too immobile as well. He's somewhere in the middle. That's Mitchell Trubisky. So he's starting first on offense. I'm on defense. He's coming out in shotgun. I am not going to send the pressure at him. And I'm just going to see if he can, uh, he can pass the ball and he can make a read. So he's able to make a quick read to his outside receiver, pick up the first down. Once again, he's in shotgun. And now he's going to go inside zone, ready for that, with my outside linebacker in on him, Tyreek Hill, who is a pretty sticky back for the Chicago Bears, not able to make anything on that first down. So he's still in shotgun formation, and I am still not sending any pressure. I am using my linebacker to see if I can take away the middle of the field, and he's able to now dump the pass off on a short gainer to Cohen. First down. 40 yard line and so far he's been doing all of his damage through the air let's see if he changes tack no he's gonna go back to the pass and I'm able to just uh, make the tackle after a very short game he went to his tight end on that uh, second and seven once again he's in shotgun so I'm sticking to cover four so this is where he's going to absolutely take advantage of cover four with some well-placed dots to his outside receiver because when you're in cover four defense, your your defense, your secondary is basically in quarters defense. Each uh, defensive back has a quarter of the field, so that's going to leave uh, the out routes wide open. And you can see the out route is open there. He didn't get a first down on that throw, but he still got a respectable five yard gain. So he's in gun tray wide flex once again, and I'm sticking to. Uh, uh, so now I'm actually switching out of cover four to cover two, and this time he's not able to get the pass off real quick. He's basically just taking the snap under center and just chucking it uh, left or right to his uh, outside receivers. So third and five this time, and I am going to now just send the pressure, I believe. Yep, I have my linebackers uh, up, pressed up against the line of scrimmage, pinched in, bring the pressure, and he's going once again to the far left to his outside receiver, and he's not able to make that connection. He's on my 44-yard line, so he's going to go for it fourth and five he's in once again shotgun wide trips offset weak so that means that the running back is on the opposite side of the tight end I am not going to send pressure or I am going to send pressure but I'm not going to send a seven man blitz item I'm going to send a six man blitz instead and just user one of my inside linebackers and see if I can take away the tight end coming across the middle the tight end going and but he's able to get the pass off to his other receiver in the slot and able to convert it for the first down because once again cover four defense those out routes uh, to the outside receivers are going to be open so first and ten not gonna send the pressure on him he's switching his running back over to the right hand side and now he's going to once again go to his favorite out to uh, out route to the uh, outside receiver pick up a four yard gain I could have very easily if I would have hit stick tackled and that ball would have come loose that would have been an incompletion but second and six and he is going once again this time out route to his slot receiver gun wide trips offset weak I mean you can basically just <laughs> put this on a loop this guy is on a mission to just pass the ball against cover four this time I came out in cover three and I base aligned but he was quick to see that and he's able to hit his receiver up the seam for the touchdown so you're gonna see this guy is very knowledgeable against cover three. Why? Because he's a he's a guy who uses cover three almost exclusively on defense, and you'll see that uh, every time I'm on offense. But anyway, he's able to take advantage of the cover three defense. Uh, one key theme, uh, one key characteristic of the cover three defense is that since you have your uh, defensive backs playing uh, in thirds they, each defensive back so that free safety and the two cornerbacks each have a third of the field that means that the seams are automatically wide open as well as the flats 
So now I'm on offense, I am in gun a slot offset, the post play, and I'm trying to see if I can pass the ball right off the bat. So I decided to roll out of the pocket and very late pass to Kelsey, and that is incomplete. So now I switch out of a slot offset, and I am now in gun bunch. I'm gonna send Hardman on a slant, Williams on the wheel route, and I'm going to see if I can get Kelsey open up uh, in the seam. And indeed, I'm able to get a nice seam pass off to Kelsey for the first down. See, and incidentally, end of the first quarter. So Bears with a seven nothing lead, but I've discovered that this guy loves the cover three defense. So of course, I'm gonna go back to gun bunch and I'm gonna see if Kelsey is uh, open again up in the seams. So I'm gonna send uh, Watkins out on the, uh, the wheel route and Kelsey is open momentarily, but I decide I'm thinking man defense, so that's why I throw that pass uh, on a streak. I throw that streak route to uh, Hardman, not able to connect there. That could have very easily been an interception. But back again at gun bunch, and I'm going to see, I see that single high safety here. So I'm thinking cover three, Kelsey should be open. Kelsey is not open, and I had the wheel route momentarily open. Uh, and I'm able to get Hardman there on the uh, slant over the middle. This time I've been passing almost exclusively, so I go back to gun a slot offset, and I'm, I have the choice to either go inside zone or go with this easy post play. I decide to go with the post, and this time I'm able to hit Kelsey on the uh, corner route to the right sideline. Going run this time at the 25 yard line. Let's see, let's see if he's uh, all set up and if he can defend a stretch run. And he's able to only limit me to a two yard gain. So I'm back to gun bunch, hoping to take advantage of his favorite cover three defense. So Kelsey should be open. So I instead go to the uh, running back. Uh, and the running back is not able to make the catch So third and eight. I'm going to uh, go into gun tight slots, mesh switch, and hopefully I should have one of my drag routes open. Hardman is open on the second drag route, and I'm able to hit him for the first down. Now I'm in the red zone, 12-yard line, gun bunch. Hopefully Kelsey should be open. I see that single high safety, so he should be wide open here. And indeed, he is wide open for the touchdown. He came just a little bit too late on Kelsey, but that gave me just enough time to deliver the pass and tie this game up at seven apiece. So you can see here that I've shown you one of two money plays that you can use to absolutely torch the cover three defense, and that's the seam route. And that's that seam pass to the tight end uh, in gun bunch. So of course you can audible that out if you see. Uh, I generally like to go with the verticals play out of gun bunch. And so in that verticals play, the tight end is always going to be breaking off a seam route. Uh, so in that case, if you have that play in your gun bunch formation, I would go for that. And, or if, if you don't, then I would just put him on a fade or a streak uh, from that position in gun bunch and allow uh, uh, your tight end to just go up the field and pick up a nice easy first down. So. Chris Jones able to blow that play up in the backfield, third and long, and he's actually going, it looks like he was about to go gun doubles, but instead it's two minute warning. So he actually goes to a running formation out of week. And that was pretty weak. <laughs> pretty weak for him to actually go with the run to the left hand side. He thought he was gonna break a big one off, but I was, I was expecting a run all uh, the entire way. And I'm able to knock him down, four yard uh, gain only. And I have Tyreek Hill uh, returning the uh, kickoff. And I'm able to get a nice return to the 33 yard line. Back in gun bunch. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I'm thinking cover three as usual. So why not? Let's stick to gun bunch here. So I'm going to see motion out Watkins. And I'm able to hit Kelsey up the seam. This actually was not... A cover three but it was a cover one but Kelsey was open anyway so I went with Kelsey one of my two money routes against cover three defense so send Watkins again on the similar motion I have Hardman open there and ah that could have very easily been a pick and that's a harbinger of events to come
So second and 10, gun tight slots. See if I can hit one of my guys on the drag route. I'm able to hit Hardman on that drag route. So now third and two, third and two, and I should be in good position to just pick this run up the middle with McCoy. McCoy is able to make a quick couple of cuts against the defense, pick up the first down. The clock is trickling down. I still have two timeouts left. Gun bunch. I'm thinking tight end is open, and he is open, but I throw this ball way too late, and that allows the defense to break it up. 18 seconds left, second and 10. And I am just going to run this ball since I'm at the 41 yard line. I'm basically in field goal range, right? At the 37 yard line. I could just realistically go in another run and call a timeout. But I decide to get greedy third and six. And thinking that he's in cover three, he's not in cover three as you'll see. And I go with Kelsey with my money play. And he's able to pick it off with ha ha Clinton Dix. And ha ha Clinton Dix is able to return it for the score and that really 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 hurt because now he's able to turn this into a 14-7 game and only leave me with three seconds left in the first half but hey i get the ball uh back after halftime so i'm not too uh too concerned but at the same time that was a cover one defense that i confused for a cover three so you can always get thrown off by that single high safety because you're going to find a single high safety in both cover one and in cover three but i decide to chance my luck go with a different formation this time up until now i was going with one of my two money plays against cover three and that was uh the seam route to the tight end out of gun bunch and in, in the verticals play so i'm going gun a slot offset and i'm going to go this time with the post play to my 99 speed tyreek hill and indeed, I'm able to get him wide open. The free safety is in position, but nope. Tyreek Hill just got a better angle at the pass, and he's able to take it to the house for the huge touchdown before the uh, before halftime. So, yep, zeros across the board. So, first half complete, and that is the second money play against cover three defense. Cover three defense, single high safety in the middle of the field. If you have a fast receiver, uh, if your number one receiver is at least over 95 speed, then you can just send him on that post route and you should be able to, if your offensive line holds up long enough, you should be able to hit him with a long TD. Uh, so I get the ball after uh, halftime and that was a cheese, <laughs> a cheese kick uh, uh, for the, uh, on the kickoff so now I'm at the two yard line inside zone only pick up three yards there I go with the uh, mesh switch play and I'm able to get a better gain on second down I decide to go run on third and one and he's in man defense so you know what happens in man defense you make one defender miss and it's off to the races McCoy no one's gonna catch up to McCoy these guys are fast on the Bears defense but not Fast enough. McCoy with the touchdown. With the huge 89 yarder for the touchdown. And now we're talking about a 21 14 game. So huge, huge. Up to now, I've been victimizing this cover three defense, but I saw that he was in pinch buck. Oh, third and one. The odds were in my favor to just run the ball up the middle with the inside zone. All I have to do is just make one guy miss, and that's it. It's a house call after that. 21-14. All I have to do now is play defense. That's it. I know that this guy likes to go to the outside receiver on those uh, anytime I come out and cover four. And indeed, he's going to come out and shotgun. Just one wide receiver, uh, one running back, I should say, back there to block. And he's actually just going inside zone there for the short game. So far, his, uh, run, uh, his run offense hasn't done anything in this game so now he's out of, uh, under center and I'm not sending the pressure at him and I am ah oh, he's able to get the ball off to uh, Miller once again for the first down so now he's in the uh, gun tray flex he has his receivers out to the left hand side he sends one of them in motion I am not going to send a pressure at him on this one. 
and he's able to get his outside receiver once again, make a man miss. That's Taylor Gabriel. He, is, uh, he has pretty decent speed at receiver, and he's able to take this to the 29-yard line. Two minutes left in the third quarter, and I'm once again going cover four, and he goes with the inside zone, and I'm able to knock, uh, knock him back, or should I say just knock him down after a two-yard gain. Now he's going empty, five wide, so I, that's why I send pressure and he's able to get the ball off to his outside receiver and now he's in the third and four. He's not going uh, empty this time, he, he has his uh, running back there to block him just in case. And I am not going to send the pressure and he's going to once again get the ball off to his outside receiver. In retrospect, given the sheer number of times he was just delivering dots to his outside receivers I should have just manned up my cornerbacks on those outside receivers that would have uh, at least prevented some of those uh, dots against me whenever I was in cover four so now he's uh, second down in inches clock ticking down in the third quarter and he is going for once again a pass in the flats and I'm able to knock it out third in inches and he's going gun deuce close Gundu's close. Once again, I am in cover four. Not sending the pressure, but he's able to get the ball off on an inside zone, and he's at the two-yard line now. Beginning of the fourth quarter. Tight one here. Tight one. Seven-point game, and he's coming out for the very first time in goal line normal, so he's just going to run the ball here. Or he could potentially go for the play action. That's why I still have my user on my inside linebacker. And he goes for the toss play to the right-hand side. And that is money against man defense. I was going with a man blitz, Storm Brave. And he's able to take advantage and tie the game up at 21 apiece. So, tie game here in the fourth quarter. All I have to do, basically, is get the next score and basically wrap up this game. So, I'm going to go two clock here. And I'm going to run the ball, so I'm going to go to single back ace close and go with the stretch run to the left side by motioning Kelsey over to the left. Give me an additional blocker on the left side. And I'm able to run the ball right at him, get a nice six yard gain on first down. So it looks like he's sending pressure here. Looks like a man blitz, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can break off a nice inside zone run against a man blitz, but he's able to stuff me there after a one yard gain. So third and three, I'm going to go to gun tight slots, the mesh switch play, and see if I can get one of these uh, drag routes open and I'm able to get Hardman open on the second drag route, even though I saw now that Watkins is open uh, well before Hardman was on that uh, drag route. So I'm gonna go uh, on my own 40 yard line inside zone and I'm able to pick up a nice gain on the ground. Once again, second and three, I'm just going to switch sides, and then I'm going to switch sides once again. So he's, that's going to force him to reset his defense, and I'm just uh, content to let him t uh, to just take a time out there. So right there at the two-minute warning, and I'm able to get a big gain, big, 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 big gain on, uh, on that. And now I'm at the 41-yard line. I'm right in just on the doorsteps right there of a uh, field goal range and I'm able to get a, another decent gain on first down second and four 35 yard line and all I have to do is just kill this clock and the victory is mine so McCoy is able to get a big gain again inside zone so now I'm going to switch formations up. I'm going to just run this ball. So I'm going to go single back wing pair, I believe. And that's just the die play of the middle. I'm able to get the blocking, but ah, oh, that was a big hit. And that was close. McCoy held on to it, but that could have very easily turned into a fumble. But 16 yard line, 48 seconds left. He stops the clock. He just has one timeout remaining. And he was going with his, uh, uh, with his cover two blitz there. Inside zone time. Inside zone, and I'm going to run the inside zone off to the left side here. He's going a uh, man blitz, I believe. It looks like he's a man blitz, or is at least showing blitz. But I'm going to go with the inside zone, 
And yep, I'm able to get a big gain. I was trying to uh, apply some stick work to him, but he manages to tackle me down at the four yard line. I let the clock trip down to four seconds and I'm in position to kick the field goal, but he is deciding to ice me here. So of course, clutch time here. And I delivered the clutch field goal with Harrison Butker for the three point win. And there you have it, Chiefs versus Bears, plenty of cover three, so there is plenty of education for you guys, so go back, look at the money plays that I showed you, the, uh, the seam uh, route in uh, the gun bunch out of verticals, as well as the uh, post play out of gun a slot offset, or basically any post play here, your 95 plus receiver should be able to get the job done and absolutely torch cover three defense. So much better performance from last time by, by a lot. So hope you guys enjoyed this matchup. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Drop a like and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified as soon as I post a new video. Until next time, this is Ace, signing out. Peace.